hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this flipping text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple and cool techniques inside of after effects and if you want to learn more about motion graphics and other stuff then don't forget to check out my udemy courses links are available in the description and if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effect. Let's create a new composition. I'm going to call it as Main Animation. Width I'm going to choose 1920. Sorry, I'll type properly okay width i'm going to choose 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 duration is one minute long and background color is black color and simply hit ok and hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection then i'm going to press ctrl n to create another composition and i'm going to call it as b and width i'm going to choose 1080 and height also 1080 and simply hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection then press ctrl y to create one solid background and we are going to choose a little bit grayish color like that and simply hit ok and hit ok then select this go to the effect and presets panel search for cc vintage effect and double click to apply and lock this layer then i'm going to select my rectangle tool and stroke width i'm going to choose 10 pixels and double click to create this kind of stuff and let's increase the stroke width somewhere around like this now select this layer hit ctrl d uh, and this time change the color to black and decrease the stroke width somewhere around like this okay select this uh, shape layer press f4 and choose alpha inverted mask okay like that after that select these two layers uh, press ctrl shift c and we will call it as stroke and hit ok like this go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect and double click to apply uh, ok and let's make this softness 100 somewhere around like this now go inside this select this layer over here go inside this contents rectangle uh, rectangle path and we have this roundness we will increase the roundness somewhere around like this so we will get this kind of structure okay so if you see over here and if i de remove this title selection i'll get this kind of structure then i'm going to select my rectangle tool i'm going to choose white color again and stroke width i'm going to choose 10 pixels and simply double click to create this kind of rectangle regular border now select this hit ctrl d again press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this okay so our extra stuff is ready now we will type our proper text so i'm going to pick up my text tool and i'm going to type b and for the font i'm going to choose poppins font and i'm going to choose extra bold version okay now select this layer press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this okay now select this layer and hit ctrl d go to the character menu and we will delete this stroke and we are go i mean delete this fill and we are going to choose black color for this and we will bring down this color downwards and let's uh, increase the stroke width somewhere around like this okay so we will get this kind of structure and let's make this full resolution so we'll get this kind of thing now i'm going to select this middle layer right click go to the layer styles and we are going to choose uh, inner shadow like this go not inner glow but uh, inner shadow like this then go to the inner shadow options over here and increase the distance somewhere around like this and increase the size somewhere around like this and opacity also a little bit like this okay so we will get this kind of structure now let's go to the main animation comp and hit ctrl 0 
we will select our b and we will bring down over here now press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this and we will move this over here like that now select this layer go to the effect and presets panel and we are going to search page turn effect and double click to apply so as you guys can see we will get this kind of page turn effect initially i'm going to move this downward over here and we will create one keyframe at fold position and hit u then zoom in a little bit let's go to around three seconds and we will move this from here to here until it's gonna go out of this composition so if you see we will get this kind of animation over here like that now i'm going to select this and i'll hit ctrl d i'll select this second layer i'll go to the effect and presets panel and i'll search for tint effect and double click to apply and i'll swap this color so at the if i see hide the first one i'll get this different color over here like that so uh, this time i'm going to select the second layer and i'll change the color of this one to yellow and select this fold position hit u first of all to reveal the keyframes i'm going to select this and i'm going to move this in the middle of this layers which means somewhere around 1.15 frames like that so this animation should start from here so now select those keyframes and hit f9 like this okay now after that select this first layer hit ctrl d and let's bring this downwards and hit u like that okay then i'll go to three second uh, i'll select this and i'll move this layer over here okay then we will go over here i'll select this yellow color layer hit ctrl d let's bring this downward hit u select this and let's move this over here like this now uh, hit u hit u select all of this hit ctrl d and let's bring them downward and hit u and hit u like that and we will go over here at six second and uh, we have this uh, last four layer keyframes i'll simply select them and i'll move them over here okay like that now what i'm gonna do i'll go somewhere around over here and i'll hit b basically i want to create a form of loop over here so i'll hit b over here to trim this comp over here like that then somewhere around at this point i'll hit n so now if if i see this animation in between this tree i'll get this animation in the form of loop now i'll right click go to trim comp to work area and if i see this i'll get this animation in the form of loop now i'll press ctrl k and i'll call this comp as main b and hit ok like that now i'm going to press ctrl n to create another composition and for this composition i'll give main animation comp name and hit ok now hit ctrl 0 and i'll bring my main b over here like this and i'll move this over here okay now hit ctrl d and let's move this over here like this hit ctrl d move this over here like this hit ctrl d and let's move this over like this okay but uh, we did one mistake let's hit ctrl z before doing that press ctrl k first of all and we need to increase the duration of this comp i'm gonna choose one minute and then i'll go to the last uh, key first uh, i mean last frame of this comp right click go to the time and choose time enable remapping then before the last keyframe create one keyframe and delete this last keyframe alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression on it like that and let's increase the duration okay so now what will happen we will get this animation continuously in the form of loop now i'll select this and i'll hit ctrl d i'll go to the start and i'll bring this over here you can make this full resolution as well you can take a little bit of distance between these alphabets hit ctrl d again let's move this over here as i said you can take a little bit distance hit ctrl d and let's move this over here like that now select all of this and simply move them over here now select this main b hit ctrl d hit enter and i'm going to call it as main o 
then hit control d hit enter let's call this main l select this l hit control d hit enter and let's call it as main d similarly i'm going to select this b hit control d hit enter and let's call it as o hit control d hit enter and let's call it as l then select this l hit control d and let's call it as d now we need to change this first so let's go inside this o and instead of b i'm going to type o similarly for this alphabets i'm going to type o okay and if you want then you can adjust the uh, size and position of this text similarly for l i'm going to change the text to l l and for d as well type d type t okay then you can adjust the position now i'll go to the main animation comp i'll select this main b uh, i'll select this main o and by holding alt i'm going to replace it go inside this hit u select all of these layers select this o and by holding alt simply replace it so if you see this in main animation comp we will get the front same thing we will follow for this main l select this main l by holding alt replace it it double click to open this select all of these layers select this l and by holding alt replace it now select this main b select this main d and by holding alt replace it double click to open this Control a to select all of them select this d and by holding alt replace it so if i see this animation over here i'll choose quarter resolution i'll get this animation somewhere around like this and if i hit u i can see at this point my animation is going to be in the form of loop over here now what i can do i want alternation in animation so i'm going to take a distance of 10 10 frames and i'll select this move this over here select this move this over here select this move this over here select this and all of this and let's simply move this over here so what will happen we will get this animation alternately like that or instead of that what you can do you can adjust it like that okay then go over here select all of them and let's move this over here so you will get this kind of alternations in your animation and if i see this in full resolution i'll get something like this okay then select all of them and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as animation and hit ok then hit ctrl d press s unlink this and let's make this minus 100 like this press p for position and let's bring this downward so it will give us like a reflection stuff now select this press t for opacity and let's make this opacity 20 like that select your rectangle create one mask on it go to the mask and increase the mask feathers like this okay so we will get this kind of reflection over here like that okay then let's close all of this uh, you know compositions now select this reflection press t for opacity let's make this opacity 50 a little bit like that now press ctrl n to create another composition and let's call it as fractal noise effect and hit ok then press ctrl y to create one solid background go to the effect and presets panel and search for fractal noise effect and double click to apply let's increase the contrast and decrease the brightness go to the transform transform to uniform scaling uncheck and decrease the scale to it somewhere around like this and decrease the scale height somewhere around like this if you want then you can increase it totally like this and scale height also you can choose 10 now go to the main animation comp and hit ctrl 0 and bring our fractal noise over here and i'll hide this layer select this reflection layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for compound blur effect and double click to apply and in blur layer i'm going to choose this fractal layer okay so we will get this a little bit of fractals over here like that and now just to give a final touch to this animation we will press ctrl y to create one solid background and we will bring this backward i mean black background background and then right click new and create one adjustment layer 
go to the effect and presets panel and search for tint effect and simply swap this color if you want to render out your animation in this way that is also okay this looks also cool but you can select this and you can move this over here as well like this so you will get this kind of stuff and that is also going to be in the form of loop ping animation so yep this is how you can create this kind of looping animation inside of after effects